Peggy 16. Your hero's journey begins as you return from the dead, miraculously resurrected by a device known as the Well of Souls. You there! You! What are you doing down here? You don't belong... Wait a moment. No. You soon meet a gnome named Fomerus Hughes, who's amazed that his experimental Well of Souls has finally worked. He tells you that his tower is under attack and that you must escape. Finding a weapon, you prepare to fight your way out. The lens? The new configuration? Perhaps... No, no, what am I thinking? No time for that now. We've got to get you out of there. Here you get your first glimpse of the Well of Souls, the place of your rebirth. Combat and Reckoning is intuitive and accessible. You can chain together basic attacks with a single button. Well done. Collecting loot is a big part of the game. While you loot, you can compare items and decide whether they are worth equipping now or are saving them to sell off later. Just by varying the timing of your basic attacks, you'll perform special moves like launching an opponent into the air and juggling him. Using your shield for a well-timed parry can open up an even more damaging attack chain on your stunned opponent. Now we fast forwarded to the Dalentarth region, your first introduction to the outside world of Reckoning. It's a peaceful place, a relatively safe start to your hero's journey. You now have both primary and secondary weapons equipped. And even as a melee fighter, you'll unleash powerful battle magic on your enemies. Sometimes you're rewarded with opportunities to dispatch enemies with a special fate shift kill. Building up enough fate energy allows you to perform even more powerful attacks. Reckoning features a robust crafting system. Here, for example, you might try your hand at Sagecraft. Using this altar, you insert a magical gem into a longsword, upgrading it to a more powerful flaming sword. Combat and Reckoning is all about the choices you make for your character, what abilities you select, what armor and weapons you equip, and what strategies you employ against various enemies. You can perform a war cry that knocks your enemies back, attack the Banshee with your hammer, attack her minions with your sword, and then use your harpoon ability to pick off the stragglers. The Quake ability sets up the enemy for another Fate Shift. You finish off the remaining foes using the special attacks with your hammer. Imagine now that every choice you've made has led you down the path of the mage. You still have a shield, but it's a magical talisman, and your parry move sets your opponent on fire. You also have these chakram weapons you can use to tear through your enemies at a range. Magic is your main weapon and defense. You teleport to dodge attacks, and your mark of flame lets you tag enemies individually, then detonate them in a fiery explosion. Even as a magic-focused character, you still have primary and secondary weapons. In this case, you're using an ice staff and a pair of flame chakrams. For the sake of this demo, we've given you an advanced spell, Meteor. Here you can see the kind of power a high-level mage can unleash. Throughout the game, you'll encounter big creatures like this Prismere Troll. Most RPGs would turn this into a highly scripted fight, but in Reckoning, these encounters are action-oriented in real time. Uh -huh. 